like it exactly get here welcome back to another the continuation of railing in rabbit metric running parametric railing in rabbit okay in the previous class in the previous video we stopped somewhere here but do mind i changed the diameters okay i did not change this one i changed the diameters control z edit extrusion I changed the diameters of these guys. I believe they are too small to hold all this. Um, I made it 15 in total. Okay, so I changed the diameters. I made this guys a bit thicker. Then the ones within, I will make them smaller. Okay, so let's go to here reference plane now go to extrusion create circle of seven this time around now i can use the seven okay so go to the back elevation move it Let's move it somewhere here. Move it. It should align to this place. Okay. So this is my okay. I am creating supports. Miro. Just copy. Remove constraints. Okay, so now I can copy multiple, copy multiple of this. to about which distance what's the distance I believe 100 is too much I believe it is going to work okay so let me just keep tapping on 80 80 80 yes 80 and press and enter 80 and press and enter 80 enter 80 enter 80 enter 80 enter 80 enter okay obviously the ones here i am not using them i will only join this ones here okay so this ones i am creating support for my give me the name for my design for my profile all right i'm done with this please now what i'm going to do is select let's see nope select it all the way through and now press on control select it all the way through now mirror select this guy here okay i will have to adjust some but not all 
things like this one okay things like this one this one yeah all right this one okay yeah, i guess that is all right by me let's see that in 3d this is looking very fine it's looking okay so like i said i am trying to replicate the design out of the main design we have all right so go back to your back elevation now wait my photo here's my photo something like this let's create this guy and add it up right so load just three will work so let me just create the three first let's measure measure i want to know the rough distance between them it's about 190 good Okay, sorry, family. Metric, generic, metric, generic. This one. Go to your back elevation. Now, this time around, sweep or extrusion. Which one? Let me just create a sweep, an extrusion. Okay. So, line to. Just create this okay, 9900 okay no 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 900 is too much i left about 100 or so let's make it 7 800 okay let's just make it 800 and the thickness i want it to be 7 plus 7 which is 14 okay so where is my middle point line to this is my middle point of z control z z no forward okay my middle point hmm. right so I want something like this, a rhombus like shape. line I want you to be 14 also not 16 14 all right so inwards let's see if inwards will work for me click on this okay. click on this delete okay and now click on this I want to split not I want to split this one and this one and I want this one this one this one perfect I have something like this okay so should I create this thing here? You know, it, there is this up and bottom. Let me just create it. Rectangular. Yeah, 
ないのControl Z Z. Forgot to split the other way around. Um, um. Okay, so select this guy here. You know, control select the other one, and now mirror it the other way around. Okay, so take on the split tool again and then split this. Seriously, creating this in is quite a work. I myself am tired of creating it. Okay, now finish it up. It ends at um, what's the name? Remind me of the name. At Fourteen, oh. and now go to your reference point. Here is my, and move it to this middle point here. Move again. All right, just leave it there. Okay, I would like to copy it. What is the measurement? This is 61. I have 100 and I forgot. 100 and something. 190. I said 190. I have 190. So 60 plus 60. This is roughly 60 plus 60 is um 60 plus 60 plus 60. 180. Okay. So what is going to happen is. Just copy it. No problem. Leave the constraint. Right. So copy it again. Right. What happened is it's close, but I'm going to change why it's this way. Control Z. Edit extrusion. Go to back elevation again. So, what is going to happen is I'm going to select everybody right from here. Hit on the shift button, deselect this one, and deselect this one. Okay, so move this all the way the top here and copy this sorry just mirror I think mirror should work okay reference it to this guy yeah 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 I know what is going to happen is 
click on the supply split tool sorry not supply split tool cut here yeah I know it's reminding me of what I know all you have to do does it is just okay you see you I done finish it up I have created the other type so I'm going to delete this one because I will go through and now copy it to this place so roughly my measurement here should accommodate the space I have there so you can see I have something like this so load into railing 2 okay it should be here go to back elevation press at the bottom of key wall this is where the problem comes simply I did not plan for it mm. that we can manage it okay so this one's oh, I will have to change their heights all over again let's see align to align to I think should be much more faster Perfect. And now select this one, mirror it to this place. Boom. Wonderful. This is looking much more than what I was expecting. Believe me, I never thought it was going to come out this way. I have never thought so. Okay, so I think we're going to stop here for this video. Alright. Don't do something telling me to just fill up this place here as in just to bring up this support here all the way to the top but I don't know it's not relevant because here is a support this is a support this is another support obviously the frame will hold okay so we're going to stop here for this video let's see same time tomorrow for another interesting for the continuation of this video okay so you see we have created something okay not the best but okay all right let's see sometime tomorrow for the continuation of this let's put it into a line based family create it and then let's see how it's going to look like as the end product Okay, goodbye for now. That's the same time tomorrow. Bye.